In this video, I want to discuss some intuitive understanding of the Black-Scholes formula for European options. First, let's write down the formula of a European core option. C equals S and D1 minus discounted K times ND2, where D1 and D2 are as follows, including the log difference of S and strike K and the risk-free rate and the volatility, and time to maturity terms. A simple put call parity can give us the formula of a European put. The first insight I would like to discuss is to notice the first term is about the asset, while the second term is about cash or cash-like. Imagine instead of the payoff of a standard European a call S minus K when price is above the strike K. The payoff is just S, the asset price itself. That would be just the asset term, right? In this case, the option is called asset or nothing, meaning if it's above the strike, you get the asset, while if it's below, you get nothing. Now imagine the payoff is to get the amount of cash with the strike price K if S is above K, in which case the option is called cash or nothing. Here, since you are paying cash instead of receiving, so equivalently long the call option is equivalent to long the asset or nothing option plus short the cash or nothing option. The second insight is that the ND2 term is the risk-neutral probability of in the money at maturity. This is sometimes a little confusing because the first term ND1 looks more like the in the money probability to some people. The key to the understanding is that S is a variable, while K is a constant. So when we integrate over all possible payoffs, the term for the constant should be the integrated probability. This is clearer when we write down the option value in terms of discounted expected payoff based on the probability distribution. Note the expected payoff is to integrate the payoff S minus K with its probability. Here we only need to integrate from K upward or when it's in the money. Breaking S minus K into two terms and compare the two integrals with the formula, we can see the second term, nd2, is simply just integral of ps ds from k upward, which is in the money probability. While the first term is some rearrangement of integral s times ps ds, so it's actually expected value st when it's in the money. Okay, hopefully you find this helpful and hope to see you next time.